Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. There's been some hype going around the internet about the most beautiful lipstick in the world. And if you are new to my channel, hey, my name's Nicola. I have a problem with lipsticks. I have too many, I buy too many, I am always getting told off when buying more. I'm sorry, I know. So, this hype went round about this flower lipstick. I'm not even gonna begin to mention the name of the products because I can't, I just, I can't. And I'm a sucker for lipstick. So as soon as I saw this video go up, I can't even remember who it was by. I've never seen it before. She was on YouTube and it was a beautiful video. She got super excited by this lipstick. And so I may have ordered myself two. <laughs> they arrived this morning and I wanted to give you my first impressions and reviews on these lipsticks. Okay, so I've got to say, just straight off taking them out the bag, they are completely different to what she had. I'm gonna guess it's the fact, oh no. I know the original, I don't know if they're changing the packaging because of the hype or if they're changing the packaging because there's a lot of fakes nowadays, but this is completely different. To start off with, she had, she had them in quite a large box and these have come into little ones. I did order two shades. I ordered number one and number two. They came from the website, so I do know they're real. The packaging, I don't know if I'm, I'm in love with the packaging. Um, to start off with, I'm definitely not in love with these gigantic stickers they've chucked all over it. Nope, nope. They're not even stickers you can peel off. They're just going to ruin the packaging. It's a good job I'm not a lover of packaging. I don't keep it. There's also a sticker on the side. What do you do with it? Do you scratch it? Ooh. I think you scratch it and you can uh, see if it's real. Yeah, this serial number's under there. So that is obviously to see. So if you do order them off like somewhere like eBay, if they come with these stickers, you can scratch it off and um, you go onto the website, I believe, and you can just scan it or something like that or type in the number and it will tell you if your lipstick is real or not. So, what do we think? Okay, so this is apparently the most beautiful lipstick in the world. I am not going to pronounce that name. Also, the inside packaging is completely different as well. Or just in case you want to know, that is what the sticker looks like. Um, so on the back, I'm not going to read it all. No one cares. We just want to see the lipstick, don't we? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay, can I get into it? It's a good job I'm not a packaging fan. Okay, so it does come with a random bit. We'll just slot that back in. And you know what I'm gonna do with that, don't you? Bim. There you go, gone. Okay, so the first thing I notice it's the lid that's making that noise. It sounds stupid. I don't think, it doesn't feel expensive, if that makes sense. Um, there was no invoice in the, on the front. There's no invoice or anything with it. Oh my God, what's happening with my hair today? I don't know, I don't know. We give him. There was no invoice. Um, I believe I paid 26 pounds something or 27 pounds something. It wasn't expensive for the two lipsticks. I think they were about $15 each. And then you had to pay for postage and packaging, but obviously it changed due to my currency and what they offer. Anyway, so let's have a look. So it's clear and gold. Oh, yeah, it does open. And we'll get rid of that. They have put the name on the side of the gold. I don't know if we can get this to see. I'm not going to pronounce that because I'm not. It says it's a floral smell, but... 100% truthful, I can't really smell that. So that's not too bad. I don't mind, I don't mind a floral smell, but I don't like an overpowering one. Are we ready? Oh, not what I was expecting. Oh. So yes. Okay, so mine is very to the side and at the bottom, but there is a flower in there. It is beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. It's completely different to any lipstick I have got. However... I feel like I should be more excited by this, and I'm, I'm not, and I don't know why. Is that a hair? I just pulled a hair out of it. It's only a teeny tiny hair, or is it a fibre? Hmm. I'm never going to get that on camera, but... I don't know if you can see... Oh, yeah, yeah, just there, look. Can you see that? I just pulled that out, the lipstick. We're going to see past this. We're going to see past this. It's not very... 
Mine's a little bit lopsided. I can live with this. I feel like I'm really nitpicking now if I'm not here. You can see the joins on the side of the lipstick. I don't, I didn't expect this to be amazing. I don't know why. I was like really, really excited. The girl that did it on camera was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And it is beautiful. But the finished product, I don't know how happy I am with it. Like, if I can get this on camera, I'm gonna try my best. There's like a square in the jelly. I'm gonna call it jelly because that's what it looks like. Can you see it? Just there. There's a square in the jelly and if I can do that, can you see how on the of a finish it actually is? So maybe it's just this one. I'll open the other one in a minute and have a look. Now, it is pretty. <laughs> there is a beautiful flower in there. Okay, we're gonna swatch. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna try and like, I'm just gonna pull my, pull my sleeves up. <laughs> Okay. I thought it were pink. What is that gonna do? <laughs> okay, I'm not too sure how many of this girl on this video made this really, really big hype up about how pink and it's... <laughs> I'm on it lipstick off now i want you to bear in mind i've just took a pink lipstick off what seriously is happening with my hair today i'm really not too sure no when i'm coming on camera i should probably do my hair better right so let's go for it ah i'm shocked there's like nothing on my hand and There's still nothing on my hand, look. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay, so. <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That is so good. I'm super, super impressed with this. Like, like seriously super impressed with this. Okay, I wasn't impressed, now I am impressed. Okay, so it feels a little cheap, the packaging feels a little bit rubbish, but oh my God, the flower is beautiful, the finish isn't great. Um, I'm not gonna cut it open because there is a couple of videos on YouTube where they do actually cut it open. But, yeah, the color swung me. The color has swung me. I love it, I love it. Okay, so I went with number two. And I went with the blue. Now it says blue, but it, and it has this uh, purple flower inside. Focus camera. It is extremely pretty. It is extremely pretty. Same thing again though. Look at the front of this lipstick. It's not very well finished and there is a square on it once again. Trying to find the best light to show you. I'm not 100% impressed with the finish of these, but oh my God, the color is amazing. It is truly, truly amazing. Um, I may actually give one of these away. Shall I give one of these away? Shall I not? Oh, I don't know. I was going to give save this one for my thousand subscribers, but I feel like really bad because I haven't swatched the colors. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put this one on my lips as well because I'm excited. <laughs> oh God. So my lips are stained. So this one's never gonna work, is it? <laughs> I believe these, I'm gonna write this on my hand as well, are all around about the same colours. They don't seem to change very much um but i couldn't really give you a true color on this because my lips were already stained from the previous one and they look pretty much identical on the hand let's even get these in there 
Okay, so this one was the first one and this is the second. I really am impressed with them. I really am impressed with them. Um, not impressed so much that they stain that bad, but I really like it. You should get a really good couple of hours wear out of these because of the fact that you stain your lips. But yeah, super impressed. Not impressed with the finish. They could be a little bit better for the $15. I mean, I know $15 don't seem that much, but... It cost me £26 something, £27 something. I can't quite remember because it was about six, these took about six weeks to come. Um, I was really thinking to myself, I was actually going to sit there and say in this video that I wouldn't buy them again. I would buy these again. I really would buy these again. I'm quite impressed. Um, I could have obviously spent a couple of pounds more and got two MAC lipsticks, but these are so different and so unique and I am really, really impressed with them. So I will leave the website down below in the description bar. I hope you enjoyed this first impressions. If I find any problems with them, I will obviously come back and do another video later on to tell you. But other than that, I am actually really impressed. Like, really impressed. I'm not too impressed with the stickers on the bottom either. They're quite cheap and tacky kind of looking. But... We can see past these little marks and mistakes and whatever else because it is a beautiful lipstick and it's actually a really nice colour. I think they're all going to be around about the same. I don't think, I can't remember what the actual description of these were. I just bought a pink and a blue one and they look pretty much the same. But yeah, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this mini review. Review? Yeah, mini review in first impressions. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. I do a couple of videos a week. Take care. I will see you in a few days with another video. Oh, I need to swallow. <laughs> and bye-bye.